Hey everybody. Let's see I have a, um, a machine with Windows 10 that does this. We're just going to do a regular shutdown. And of course it is actually not off just yet. Still waiting on it. This is the same way that Windows 8 shuts down if you're doing, um, if you're actually shutting down and not rebooting. Part of the fast startup thing. It's common for people to accidentally unplug their computers. Let's say if they're getting ready to take their computer somewhere, they'll accidentally unplug and the thing is off because the screen's blank. Okay, the machine should shut off here shortly. Okay, there we go. We're going to start it back up. And you get stuck with this. The machine boots up as normal, but you're stuck with a black screen with a mouse cursor. So I can right click, and you'll see like it pops up a context menu. You can't actually see it, but you can see it's doing stuff by the um, animations of the cursor. So, I mean, there's absolutely nothing you can see here. You're just stuck with the black screen. The only way to get around this, so far, is to put the computer to sleep. And you briefly see your desktop. Flash for your eyes and the machine goes to sleep. Start it back up. Okay, my monitors. Okay, I thought it was my monitor, but okay, we're back. Now you can. We finally have a screen. Basically, what happens is anytime you shut the machine down and start it back up, you end up with that black screen. This does not happen on reboots. What's going on here is this happens with some graphics controllers. Now we're running an ATI Radeon Express 1100 or 1150. Um, graphics um, North Bridge on this machine and it unofficially didn't I mean it didn't officially have a driver for this 10 there was a workaround to actually get a driver um, you can do a simple Google search and find information but we had this minor little issue and I think this happens with some Intel based graphics solutions as well a workaround for this is to go into your control panel now if you're still using the Windows 10 start menu you can search for control panel because they desperately want you to use settings instead. In the control panel, we'll go to um, power options. And I'm going to set this to um, high performance while I'm in here. Now I'm going to um, select choose what the power buttons do. And now we'll click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And we're going to uncheck turn on fast startup. Now basically, um, this is what makes Windows 10 boot up so fast, so it will take a little bit longer to start up, but we should be able to, um, we should be able to boot the machine up from a cold start and not have this issue anymore. So we'll select save changes, and let's try this again. We'll shut down. There we are, almost. There we go. And you can see that it's booting into Windows just fine now. No black screen. So apparently the fast startup process seems to have some conflicts with some older graphics controllers. Yeah, there's quite a big difference in boot up time because of this, but at least you don't have to worry about your screen going black. So anyways, that's a workaround for this kind of issue. 
any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.